Hey, what's going on, CoinOp TV subscribers? Robert Welkner here, and in this video, I want to do a review of another Shaw Brothers martial arts classic. This time, it's called Duel of the Iron Fist, also known as The Duel, from 1971. I'm going to give my letter grade. Uh, below this review will contain some spoilers. Uh, this is directed by Cheng Che, one of my favorites martial arts uh, Shaw Brothers directors. So that's a big treat. And this is kind of like the iron, the beginning of the Iron Triangle. I don't know if this is the first Iron Triangle movie. The Iron Triangle, we get uh, T. Lung, David Chang, and Chang Che, uh, all three you know components to the movie, which is generally a winning formula. And uh, this is, in most aspects, uh, a winning movie. So let me get to the IMDb synopsis here. Tang Che, uh, Tang Jin Che, his life spins out of control when he's forced into exile to clear his name following the murder of his adopted father. He's hunted in the streets, his lover Butterfly turns to prostitution and his father's likely killer, a smooth operator known as the Rambler, is always lingering nearby. But before Tang and the Rambler can slit each other's throats, they learn they have been double-crossed and go two against everyone in a rage of double-edged vengeance. Whew. All right, I think I got that out there without uh, flubbing that. Let me get to my notes here. So starring T. Lung, one of my favorite Shaw Brothers actors, um, David Chang, uh, somebody I like. I'm a little bit hit or miss. Uh, sometimes I think he's great movies. Sometimes I think he's the worst part of the movie. And sometimes I think he's okay as a supporting character. Uh, so these two are triad gangsters in a contemporary setting. Um, we also get Ku Feng, another Shaw Brothers uh, actor that I like a lot. And... Um, you know, so let me get to a little more. So T. Lung has, if you've seen any images of this movie, T. Lung has this butterfly tattoo on his chest, which uh, symbolizes his love or his adoration, his admiration for his lover, uh, who's who's not a prostitute in the beginning of the movie, clearly. Uh, so that's the way things sort of start off with the, uh, the butterfly tattoo. A few people have tattoos and stuff like this. Again, contemporary setting. Most everybody in the movie uses short daggers as their weapon of choices. We do get some guns a little later in this movie. Uh, it starts off with a big giant gangland brawl and we're introduced some to the some of the main characters. Beginning a little bit difficult to figure out what the heck is going on. It's like, hey, we're gonna start with the action and the fighting right off the bat and then we're gonna kind of uh, ease into things and explain to you who's who in this movie. Uh, we soon we find out that T. Lung's clan leader has been double-crossed and assassinated, fo forcing him to go on the, out on the land. There's plenty of hand-to-hand -hand combat all the way through this movie, with uh, again, with fists, daggers, some gunplay. Uh, T. Lung and David Chang have a memorable showdown in the end as well as a big, giant, all-out brawl. Uh, again, two versus everyone in the film. I mean, there's the streets are full of people fighting. And uh, then you get to see T. Lung and David Chang have, have a, a duel, which is you don't really want to see in a movie, but you know, you're, you're waiting for it in this movie. You're like, haha, T. Lung, you must venge your master, you know, seek vengeance. So um, now I watch this on the Tubi app in the English dub, and it was pan and scan. And this is the first time I've seen this movie. So the quality wasn't so great. It was kind of like okay quality. It was watchable and it was enjoyable, but Dub only, pan and scan, Tubi is free, free app. If you don't have Tubi, check it out. There's a lot of martial arts movies on there and some Shaw Brothers movies. So I feel like this movie might get a better letter score in time if I rewatch it again on Blu-ray, maybe a second or third time with the, the subtitles and the original language. But right now I'm gonna give Duel of the Iron Fist, also known as the Duel, a grade letter of C plus. So we'll see how things go, if it elevates over time, if it ever gets re-released. I think it's a fun movie and a classic and some early Iron Triangle aspects to it. But um, I don't know. It's it's got uh, it's got a lot of madness happening as well, a lot of confusing stuff happening as well. But um, you know, the third act. Stick around for the third act, or fast forward. You know, if you watch this on TV, just check things out in the third act, and you'll be happy and satisfied. So let me know, let me know in the comments below what you think of this movie. And thanks a bunch for watching. If you're brand new to my channel, please hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.